Ten seconds remaining. Dire team back. Radiant team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Invoker. Radiant team pick. Master. Radiant team pick. Lion. All right, ladies Dire and gentlemen, team. as the everything sounds of OC remix do end. I thought it was actually not on Ben. I was wrong about that. But BC is also on. Speaking of things that are on, they are crushing right now. They continue to beat Shazam time after time, and they now find themselves up 1-0 in the best of three. Draft underway. Do you think Shazam can force a game three, or will this be disastrous 2-0 beatdown? 2-0 beatdown, but not as disastrous as last game. Okay. You're on the you're on the block now. I, I also expect DC yeah. to take this pretty comfortably, but with that said, the draft could certainly change things. Shazam had first... They banned out the PL, hoping to snag up the Invoker first pick, Ten Digital Chaos, remaining. probably realizing where things are going with the first banned PL and Five opting not to remaining. ban it out, realizing they have no solutions. Elder Titan ban this time. So. Hero that DC loves to run. The hero is pretty good. I like it. He just seems like one of those heroes, like some teams run super well, and other teams just do not run at all. And if they do, it's Dying a disaster. He's a weird hero. He's like a very unusual support and... It's difficult for the support player to not easy to execute by any means. Like a lion, was... like lion's pretty straightforward. I he, guess it's like I, I don't know. The hero's just weird. Have you played him a lot? He's just like I used to play him a lot before he got. Well, it was like before anyone was really playing him. I don't think he was even in captains mode of Dota two at the time. And I believe he did. A, that was back when like the spirit did way more damage. So you, you could like he actually had a huge lane presence even then. Yeah. So, so like you, you could all play him whether... pretty easily with him. Like, even the skill build's hard for him. Yeah. Like, do you want to max, like, Natural Order ASAP? Are you going for, like, more points of the stomp early just to maximize, like, your combat potential? Spirit, you can get good right-click damage off of him. Do you want Yules first? Like, item build is pretty difficult. I guess most people get Aether. Anyways, enough about Elder Titan. He's out He's of the bands now. Now to Aether. So, Shazam already have way more team fight, and they have, uh cores that aren't as heavy as the alchemist in terms of re requiring a lot of space and farm and neutrals and gold so this this way they can actually do stuff like supports like you can't really gank for an alchemist in mid because he's just all he does is ask his spree and maybe get a couple of right clicks in but with an invoker you can actually set up a lot more kills so shazam been to even things out in the early game and not get too far behind by the 10 minute mark so the Lycan now getting banned, DC, removing the big objective taker. Kazam also banning Lone Druid, so two pretty strong mid-game pushing style carries getting removed from the pool here. So we have to see the overall game plans take shape yet. And we saw DC with the heavy early game pressure, the Broodmother pocket pick coming out. This time, it'll be a different brand of a roaming support. Instead of the Doom, we'll go for the Earth Spirit, but... Same principle, just a hero that puts a lot of pressure on the lanes, helps you to win the, the early game, and then can take over in the mid-game team fights. Could be a Wii Spirit. That's true. Have they run the Wii Spirit? I mean, obviously on Secret he was playing it all the time. I wonder if DC has actually run it lately. Not to my knowledge. They have not run it in the last 10 games. Let's see. Reserve Back should we go here. They've not run it in their last 20 games. The last time he played it was a month ago, but he did play it. Looks, I'm guessing it was the mid Wii Spirit. So, it is in their repertoire. Wonder if Shazam's going to be expecting it though. The nerfs for Earth Spirit don't really affect the mid Earth Spirit. 
like that much at all. Uh, I mean, I guess it's decent, but most of the time you just rely on the uh, on a four one one build. He gets a lot more like resolution is a very kind of active fighting carry is how this Radiant team is tended to draft. But well, as I say that they're gonna get the anti mage. Anti mage also can still be that way though with the vanguard build. So why did they pick Oracle? Isn't Oracle terrible versus their heroes? I guess first the roar and the hex purge is nice, but what about magnetize? <laughs> Everyone getting silence and rolling boulder. Ten seconds remaining. It's rough. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's a Five super fantastic Oracle remaining. player. He was actually pretty good at button clicking. That's what we call the just execution of hero of button Reserve clicking. Time. Button clicking. There's button clicking. There's being at the right place at the right time. And there's mentality, teamwork. Yeah. But button clicking is also a skill. What do you call that? Micro management of hero. That just sounds. We call that the wow here, Ben. That's what we call. The wow. Yeah. Wow. He's really wow good factor. at wowing people. The wow factor. <laughs> wowing people is like the. Hey, if I don't say it, they will. So. Yeah. If you take your lumps up front, then limit the damage. Or He's good at mouse clicking. <laughs> but button pressing. Oracle's a, a lot more button pressing. That is a lot of button pressing. Yeah. Very you spammy put your hero. mouse buttons. Up. Reminds, I think the most spammy hero is uh, probably Bristleback, just constantly like mashing on quills and goo, you know, non-stop. Not very much thought required in it, but that's probably the most frequent. Outside of like Invoker or something, or micro-intensive heroes. Oh yeah, Invoker with Octarine and Refresher. <laughs> Carpal Tunnel just waiting to happen. There's some <laughs> good news for the physiotherapists out Meepo's there. Meepo's a lot too. Yeah. So, Shazam not working on the 4th pick. Feels like a very odd draft so far. They pick this big team fight combo, then they go back into the more like defensive support. Doesn't really have that much natural synergy with the Invoker Darkseer. They don't do anything in this lineup. What is Shazam's plan? It's very, this lineup is very slow to come online. And it's gonna be the same type of draft, just different heroes, Ben. It looks like, with the big wombo combo, the late game carry that needs a lot of farming time. Oracle Sven's way outdated though. They also have really good heroes for Kite to spend. Roar, Boar, Hex, Tail, all of our spirit shit. Anti Mage can just run away from him. Five seconds. Surge. You know, it's funny because I, I don't think we would have said this like if you look back like a year or something, but I feel like Anti Mage with that Vanguard build actually comes online way before Sven does with the Cleave build. Blech. Like Sven's like, alright, I'm gonna get my Dominator, Max Cleave, go farm like three sets of Ancients, then I'll come fight. Blech. Vomit. Am gets Vanguard and he just goes and, and hits people. Can I do the Pudge Vomit emote? <laughs> here, I can type it for you. Let me just type it in all chat. Ugh. Oh, you can't do it here. Vanguard anti. Yeah, I actually played a pub in between this and the last series, and my va my anti mage got Vanguard. Did you report him? He should have. <laughs> How often do you report? Do you have like a bunch stockpile? Uh, or... A fair amount, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I report... Are you like a secret rager, Ben, when you're not streaming? I didn't report anyone that game. Okay. I should have. I had a Marana who bought four wards and dropped them in my fountain. <laughs> like placed them in your fountain? Yeah, I placed them right outside the fountain. Was the game over at that point or we still won. I don't know. Oh you won. We, we, they like had this throw streak in the mid, but I'm not that big of a reporter. I don't report people for stuff like Vanguard and Team Age. It's more like, you know, if you're really You know who's a secret you know? rager that I never knew about? Oh, no. Well Winter's not so secret. Why? Why? Uh -huh. From OG. <laughs> I was watching him play at Starladder. He goes into a pub and he like he hits the scoreboard and there's like six players muted, <laughs> ten boys as well as ten. <laughs> and because he, he started raging, he's like, "Yeah, fuck that guy. I hate this player. Like he's always like such a troll. He can only play Earth Spirit. He's not Earth Spirit. We're gonna lose." Like, look at this. I bet you already been muted. And then he prints up the scoreboard and everyone's basically. That's great. <laughs> so, all right, the Vlad Io. We get to see it. Grand Grant talked about it. Have to find out if it's everything it's cooked up to be. So it is a four predict one. Well, it wasn't shaping out to be, and then it turned into one. But this time it's a different player and a different hero. So that's good. And Sven, I think if he doesn't get kited, it actually matches up pretty well versus his hero. But I think you just kick him away. They can kick him away, roar him, bore him. There's just so many things they can do to so him. So many horrible verbs that they can just. Desecrate him with really. On top of that, they have good burst with the Io. Like Finger is already pretty good. Earth Spirit, he just thrives on heroes being together in the two man stuns. And well, DC, what's it going to be to round it out? We've generally seen them very aggressive here, very mid game centric in their 
play, if not necessarily in their picks. Yeah, they'll get the Midas's, but first they'd look to win all the lanes. And it's going to be the Leshrac coming Ooh. out. Something fresh, so oh, not a Wii or a Spirit, or is it a support track? It's a carry track. And Xplit has crap. I hate you, Xplit. A what? A mid le What? What is going on with this? Crap? You know, Electric had a surprisingly high win rate in a couple of tournaments. I'm not really sure Did how. He really? Yeah. His win rate, it's, I think he was like 5 and 0. Really cool. 5 and 0. Well, that I guess that's like more of a niche pick then, where maybe the win rate doesn't really indicate the hero's true strength. You know, I used to say niche a lot, and then my friend made fun of me. He said it's niche. It's definitely it niche. Definitely, I think it's pretty sure it's niche. Really? Yeah, I know. I feel... I Excellent. Felt, Stop crashing. I felt, really, I felt really stupid. I'm sorry to everyone at Dota TV, guys. Way to go, dude. What is wrong with this? It's, it's niche. Is it really? Yeah, I know. That's what I was I like, got corrected so much. I was the like, I was like, dude, no way. It's I was like, I've been pronouncing this way for like ten years. Are you sure no there's not like wrong. another? It's like a second. Dude, this is just this. Dude. First result. I'm sorry, dude. I just had to let you know, though. Appreciate you giving me the lowdown. It's okay. We all struggle with English. English is unnecessarily difficult. Okay, I swear to God, Xplit, if you crash again. We'll fire you. I will beat you down like DC beat down Shazam. Like James beat got beaten down by Gabe Newell. Ouch. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <sighs> um, yeah, I actually don't know what to do. <laughs> Misery. <laughs> he said, don't fuck up the river, T.Y. <laughs> Coming to me <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> this is great. I like this. I'm so sad the viewers can't even see this right now. How does it affect me? What's happening? Yeah, let's see it. Die the river, MSS. Okay. Oh, I'll go ahead and introduce Linus while our lovely producer fixes everything that's horrible and wrong with XSplit at the moment. TC is on the Sven. Vlad on an Oracle on a game that he or on the on the Wisp, sorry, a game that he can actually shine in. MSS on the Invoker. Jason on the Oracle offlane will be played by Brax on the Dark Seer. We on the mid Lush Rack. Aided Bounty Rune Resolution Safe Lane Carry Anti Mage Soxa on the Lion. Very poor in his items. Misery on the Roaming Earth Spirit and Moo on the offlane Beastmaster. All right, so that is already getting punched. Do do apologize profusely to all our viewers here. On the is stream. he gonna die? Oh man, that's Vlad. That's really gonna close. Tether out. Yeah, we, uh, Xplit does not like us today, Windows doesn't like us today, Ben, who does like us today? Certainly not the viewers right now, I'm sure, but yeah, guys, hopefully the stream won't crash again. I apologize for that, not really a whole lot we can do about random errors, but we'll just pray to the gods that they have mercy. Well, that was bold. Vlad tried to go for the level one, uh, level one chicken snipe, but didn't happen. Let's see if he gets a double-double stack off, they already cut down some trees. How is his efficiency? Right click one. Like the other. That button like clicking, that though. That is 7k for a reason, Ben. Oop. Vlad. Oh, yeah. 7k used to be a lot more. I like watching supports in NA, though, just because there's so few of them. And there's so few really top tier ones, it feels like that they're in incredibly high demand. Yes. Yes, they are. And Moo and Jason are duking it out. Well, TC getting his free farm for now, and we'll see uh, Resolution also getting his. I am curious to see if he goes for the Vanguard, because I saw quite a bit in the qualifiers. Uh, I know you don't like it, but... Doesn't mean they won't go for it, then. Bomb oh, it. Yeah. Get up! Have oh, some respect! Whoa, whoa! Misery misses the roll, tanks a couple of shots Oh my TQ. god! That's not good. There's yeah. actually a surge here. Brax wants to go in on this. Seven seconds. Pulling down here on the rolling boulder. Should be able to make it out. Misery will be okay, but for the time being, Resolution are actually going to come in, help assist. Yeah, we're going to see the Darkseer all playing up against Anti-Mage. Very difficult matchup for Darkseer. Pretty much will always find himself out of mana. And struggling to keep the Iron Shells on the creeps, but for now has managed to at least crack level 2. So Brax doing okay here. He'll even grab a bounty rune. Or will he? Or will he? 
Oh, no, Misery <laughs> is just all up in his grill, but here comes the Io. They want to punish Misery. Misery. Tests are slow. No roll available for quite some time. They need the two hero stun, and they will get it from Soxa. No. Brax getting the tether slow off, the pressure coming through, giving him the old karate punch. Resolution again having to come into the thick of things. So space created really by Brax. Denying this anti mage a bit of farm, and meanwhile, TC with the empty lane, but the trade off for DC is going to be the jungle beastmaster here. No iron talent just yet, though. Still on the Quelling Blade for the time being, so definitely not the fastest farm for an offlane beastmaster. He has arcane rune. He has four mounts. It's like pre nerf, uh, pre nerf beastmaster. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing good. Uh, MSS also on the mid lane, so we are going to see the Exhort Invoker once again. Matchup up against Lashrac here, it is the Lightning build. It's the, still the, the standard mid Lashrac build. Oh my build. gosh, Lightning is so gimp. It used to be so ridiculous. It used to be so ridiculous, now it's like terribly gimp. But Edic is not that much good. Do you really want to be a melee ranger versus Sven and Invoker? I don't think so. He doesn't have any, like, he doesn't have enough armor, and armor items are just generally not that great on him until you get Shiva's, which is, like, super late, so, I don't know. He, he's a weird hero, because his Diabolic Edict is just a strange spell, and turns the hero into, from a ranged nuker, like Lina, into one that needs to build beefy and tanky. But you also need mana to sustain Pulse Nova and whatnot, so, he's just difficult to build correctly. So what do you what do you what's your preferred? Is it the bloodstone still? Honestly, I have not seen this hang in ages, and most of the time it's uh, bloodstone first. Behan does manage to grab himself a haste turn here. Good job by Misery, staying active and securing his mid lane. Oh now pull back some creeps, rotating on towards the top once to get the experience there. We have dealing with the cold snap though is forced to pop the haste, so a lot of pressure from MSS. And with the support of Lad, it's getting the upper hand here as far as CS goes. And apparently there's no in-game sounds. I hear it. I see you. I hear you. Sorry. Uh, not sure about the in-game sound, guys. If we have a pause here, we'll, we'll try to get sorted out. But unfortunately, can't really, can't really fix it at this moment. Probably something to do with the stream crashing repeatedly. As Misery will Radiance kick TC back. Pressure in the top lane, Radiance but it should be okay. Stops. I think, yeah, I think the electric build is typically arcane into bloodstone, into like bots or blink, but I'm not sure about this game. I think you kind of want something like a blink so you can kite the spin even more as well as deal with the wisp. Maybe blink on him really quickly. Rex trying to get some uh, old creeps over here by ion shelling the Crusader Mind Stealer. However, you will not get any of the gold, the precious gold. Yeah, this is a really nice matchup for the anti-mage resolution. Please don't get Vanguard. Do it. Do not do, do it. it. Do not give in. No. <laughs> it's Ben Puke. Sometimes it's okay. I think if you're versus a lot of summons, like... I don't know, if you're versus a lot of summons, you would just get Battle Fury anyways, though, so you can clear the summons. I don't know. Mm. Maybe if you're versus, like, Lycan or something. So, someone like, who's, like... I, the, the build I saw was the Vanguard back into the Battle Fury, because the nice thing now is obviously you can get the Abyssal later on, so it's not a wasted item necessarily, but that said, it does delay your Battle Fury timing a lot. It really does. It doesn't help your farm that much. He's not that great at selling creeps without a Battle Fury. The games where I've seen also were generally games where you had a tough lane, but obviously Darkseer, pretty easy matchup for Anti-Mage. So, maybe he won't go for it this game. I think he is going for Battle Fury. I think if you were going for Vanguard, you would get Treads uh, earlier. I'm not positive on that. Um, we're going to see the rotation now as Misery finds the kick on MSS, dragging it back towards the mid lane. Weehan trying to go in with the full snow, but not quite enough to get the kill though. And now the turnaround's going to come. Uh -huh. With the stun, MSS walks right into it, and again the Pulse Nova diving deep onto this Invoker, but it seems the Iowa flat is going to be enough to save the day. MSS now dropping the Ice Ball on the retreat and turning back, pummeling him with auto attacks. Kitty finished the job, not quite able to do so. The big roll forward, the first one. Oh, well, glad DC grab it. They really had to work for it, though. Good effort by Vlad, but simply not enough. Even Brax banning that bottom lane to come in, so some wasted time here by Shazam, but they still give up the kill. And I think I can actually fix this audio issue, guys. Do apologize for that. Uh, it seems when XSplit restarts, it changes the microphone device, unfortunately, so. Dang, that was close. I thought Wii was not going to survive there, but 
ends up surviving. They get a they get a kill and black coordination. Oh, Sunstrike strike coming out. TC needs one more hit, but will not get the cleave. Will not get the kill. That was pretty close, though. It should have been a straightforward kill on the uh, invoker with the slow into a stun, but we did not see the stun back coming. Brax, and it is the gun. vanguard. <laughs> oh. All right. There's, there's, there's tra knife? trash cans over there, Ben. Just to your aim. But they immediately get a kill. And meanwhile, Sven will get his armlet. So TC going for, I mean, just the typical Sven, more economy build. No Dominator first, but I imagine we'll see him pick it up next. And any Ancient Sack yet? It has begun. MSS gets stunned up by Wii and is getting dope. Oh, but the IO's here. Vlad to the rescue again. Can he get the job done? Vlad's also going to be careful about his own HP. They're going to have to sack him in the end. TC now joining the fight. He's going to pop the God Strength, but the Roar is there. Wii's going to turn this. TC needs help. He needs that little while to save the day. God Strength Agnum, but he's ever so low. He can't really arm the toggle either with the pulse. Nobody gets up the hill. The kick comes through just a second too late. They're going to beat down Vlad. They finally finish that pesky. Oh, but TC chopping wood here on Misery. He's going to dive this a bit further. Can he get the kill as well? Has enough for the rolling boulder and will not hesitate to use it as he retreats back into the lane. Good armlet toggling by TC and Lushrek. I thought he was going to connect with the stun, but I think he slightly misjudged his mana, let Pulse Nova run for a little bit too long, and then drained his mana before he could actually follow up on the stun on Sven. Oh, Brax again, going to get caught out here. Doesn't have vision up too far in the lane, and Sox are there to punish. Monovoid's ready, and they should have more than enough for the kill. Actually, he throws the Monovoid out a bit early. Then Jason comes in, so able to save the bay there with the Purifying Flames. You know, if he didn't have Vanguard and he had Trez, he would have killed him. Bullied, no Minus thing. one for Vanguard, plus one for Battle Fury. <laughs> I want to keep tab. All right. Well, I, I feel even like you I'm may be biased. a biased sport. Even keeper. though I'm biased, that basket didn't count because you, you would have you would have gotten that kill anyway. You cannot disagree with that one. In that case, one point for Battle Fury. One point for Battle Fury. We is in a lot of trouble. That is way too much burst. Man, that slow boulder kick just so underwhelming now. Just kind of like lobs it down the lane. Futile effort, really. TC is getting involved. Just an armlet and treads. You talked about AM getting online earlier than the Sven. It doesn't look like it, not when you have an IO behind him. And level 6 is online. I don't think they can kill the anti mage, but Beastmaster looks to be a pretty prime target for them if they can actually spot him. Lion also. Lion's just okay. Haven't seen uh, Mu really move around from the top lane yet. I think that's the one thing that has been kind of different from last game. We saw the Brood applying a lot of pressure. This Beastmaster has been very reactionary so far, just kind of holding serve, working on the Necrobook. Mu actually tends to do that a lot more than other offlaners, but it also just makes him much more stable in the mid game. You can always rely on him to have one or two items that he needs instead of unnecessarily feeding. But I don't want your Beastmaster to get involved at some point. This maybe once he gets the Necro one can kill the Wisp very easily. They don't have a good way to blow up the Wisp right now. Like, Beastmaster can't... None of the heroes can get past the Sven right now. I think that's a big issue of the line. I, I guess the Anti-Mage can, but even with the Vanguard, is he really right. enough to blink in an enemy line? They're bringing in Big Daddy Sven here. TC just going to start hitting creeps in this bottom lane, but around that time when DC are on the smoke, rotating towards mid, pressure the tower. They do have the level 2 Diabolic Edict. So. Uh, Soxa, hello, he's just standing there, your smoke's not there anymore, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Getting pinged out. That was uh, <laughs> He's like, oh. Dude, <laughs> he's still there? <sighs> Apparently he is six then, by the way. Oh yeah. Soxa's a giant. Oh. Oh, the puppy. Smolder, but now. here comes the gank on the mid lane. They quickly try to bring down Vlad. He's so low, he's not dead just yet, though. 9 HP, the man's gonna live. He may even look to juke around resolution right around the trees. Monoboy barely gets the kill. Oh, he almost made it out of there, too. Those are some fancy moves by Vlad. Color me impressed so far with the standard today, then, but. In the end, doesn't go down. So it's a one for one, but it's a Leshrac for an IO. He is feeding. Let's well, just squishy. Like, you cold snap, you have to run. Ben running at you, you also have to run. You just get owned. 
Oh, up in the top lane, Moo. Now has the Necro one, and with that, gets a kill. Gonna grab a tower, so. <laughs> oh, MSS. He tried to sun strike the Necro book to get some extra gold. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. But it didn't kill it. Mm. <sighs> That's some MSS stuff right there. Gotta get that value where you can. They was not quite his day, as TC will rotate on the top. Okay, at this point, would you rather have had a Battle Fury or a Vanguard? Okay, if you need this game, I would say definitely a Battle Fury. Okay, so another plus one. Thank you, LB. Unbiased caster. <laughs> Rolling boulder has I just, I just don't want to get evicted from my house, man. <laughs> you're, you're a tough landlord. <laughs> say good things about Vanguard, and Ben might just give you the boot. If you have good reasons for it, that's... <laughs> I don't... I, I legitimately feel like the... Vanguard hasn't really offered that much this game. Maybe they would have tried to pressure him more if there wasn't a Vanguard. I guess you can no, make that no, argument. They have no catch but them. they don't have a good lineup to do it. So He can just blink out of anything. Another yeah. point for Battle Fury. Nice. Wow. Sven is not going for blink deck. He does not want to get in there. Instead, just opting for the armlet and to additional strength via the... Oh, Sange? I don't really think he's terribly worried about the Lutrek at this point with the amount of... The lack of farm, rather, well, that Lechak has. Echo Saber, looks like. Echo Saber. Yeah. Seems to be the new preferred spend yeah, build. Just I, for I the... don't know how I could forget about Echo Saber. The double hit with God Strength is just ridiculous. The mana reach is also really nice. Because you have HP reach. Oh, oh misery. <laughs> Meet Choppy God. Choppy Man. And D. Oh. Terrific catch there for him. We'll get the kill. Not going to work on the bottom tower. and. It's actually DC who are forced to back off, so with this Sven build, yeah, a Sven's owning. little he, more offensive. He is controlling the game right now, and some of that has to do with the Wisp teleporting around, but mostly just the Sven being at the right place at the right time. Terrific carry this game. Getting the job done for now, but Anti-Mage is farming. Resolution still keeping relatively close to net worth with the Battle Fury, not too far off. Look how far behind he is from the Sven. 1,500 gold off. But he doesn't have built-in cleave. Yeah, that's why you need Battle Fury. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's getting one. He's getting one. He'll have it eventually. But it has allowed TC to shoot up in terms uh -oh. of network. They the are... smoke rotates on the Brax. There is a ward here right as they go on resolution, though. He's very tanky. Turning back for TC. They're going to need reinforcements to come in. The IO relocate is available. <laughs> Not going to end up getting there in time. And now, well... It's going to be able to bail Brax out at the very least, but likely to cost Vlad his life on the okay, way back he in. He still died even with Vanguard. Lost one for Battle Fury. <laughs> there you go, You're just a flamer. It's a, fall, it's a false sense of security. Oh, he actually he brought, brought Brax back? back? Oh man, ballsy plays here, but it seems it's going to work out because MSS has made his way all the way down to about at least for a moment. So the Necro book just destroys the Oracle. Going to bring down. Brax of the Dark Sea as well. Suddenly, a wild triple kill appears for Mu, who continues hunting, continues mana burning away at MSS, and then the roll into the earth. They kick forward. Earth Spirit still doing Earth Spirit thing. Clubs him down, makes it a full five man wipe. Trying to fight as Shazam's fight selection leaves quite a bit to be desired. What? That was bold. <laughs> Ugly. Bold. Isn't it only bold when it works? No, you can have bold maneuvers and they fail. Fortune clearly did not favor the bold there, that's for sure. He asks a girl out and she says no. Are you still bold? I think you're bold. She, she denies you. That's true. <laughs> you're technically still bold. You may oh. not you may not feel so bold the next time though. Resolution, he's trying to do anything without a battle fury. Look how slow this is. This is with a DD. He just gives up on it. Look how slow it is. <laughs> All right, let's just let's go into resolution cam here. The journey of a lost, educating man. Wants oh. a little more gold. It doesn't even look like he has DD. But he's got the the burning, the burning eyes here. Not the, the bandana. Eyes. Burning bandana, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Doesn't have the golden bastards though, or off do not use them. I know some AM players think they're very ugly. I do too, but I think they're better. For now, Resolution is going to push the lane in TC. I'm glad. Thinking about it, but they're like, hey, this AM's got to have backup. What's going to buy for on TC? He has money for Blink. I think Blink's the item here. He's considering something else. PKB is. 
mandatory at some point for Slashback and Lion and ES, though. And also, even versus Boar Slow is pretty good. So, let's see if he swings in a side shot and picks it up. Alright, got the Battle Fury. 17 minutes, Battle Fury and Vanguard. Still, he's only going behind. Sven. Yeah. Sven has been fighting a lot. Oh, he's farming heroes as well. KTC, what are you gonna buy? 2 okay. 1 and 4. Yeah, what? Uh, uh, Why'd he sell this Quelling Blade and buy a new Quelling Blade? That one was a little rusty. You gotta get one that's been like freshly polished, clean, not gonna give you fatness. I think most players would offer a TP instead of Quelling. Why Quelling still? Maybe he wants to kill boars? Maybe he wants to farm newts and ancients. Even then, you don't really need a quelling because you have. Mm, that's really strange. Maybe just so he can like hunt the AM if he blinks. Oh, the misery! Trees. What a player! Oh, but TC also blinking forward. Misery still getting the kickback after the TC blinking. Dang. Didn't get the stun off there. Oh, sick. Barely able to cheek away and not only reveals the rotation, but definitely escapes it. Yeah, that was that was some sick support play right there. That's when you're like, damn, that's a good support. As he's been around the block. He's been very impressive as the captain drafter and he's just yeah. switch you over to the support role. It's a hard gank to avoid too. I, he he kind of has vision, but not really. Look at his his vision in that area. It is not good at all. I think uh, that's much more for him just game sense and anticipating that rotation. So they do concede Roach. Oh, TC getting up in the rears of DC as he will try to find the kill. Flat. Well, kept alive for the time being. Courtesy of the False Promise Resolution Committee onto this, and this may end up costing Soxa too. Anti-Mage forced to turn tail and run. The IO even gonna end up relocating home list through that one. Very nicely played there by Vlad in the end, so they lose two. He had a moment to back up after the Roche was taken, but they, they wanted to fight anyway, and this time, really this whole game, it's been Shazam just being ready for that. Beastmaster got blown up, did not get to use Roar, did not get to use Book. Farming a little bit too much maybe, because Sven is big and bad and just slay everyone. And it's so mage strong. Can resolution hang on? Is it's a bad it's a bad matchup. Especially when you don't go Battle Fury first because you're way behind in terms of farm. He's like been farming the whole time, but his teammates are getting slaughtered and TZ's keeping his farm up and now they're going high ground. God strength up in three seconds time. They still do have the Necro. And that should be the deciding factor for this fight. Will they just get cleaved down or will they actually be able to kill the elite no. before? Eyes on Brax here as well, who does have the level four vacuum. That into a Stormbolt or Invoker combo could be very devastating. Kick comes out, completely dodged. So Shazam is continuing their seed. They have, they they have, have a Stormbolt. The blanking in does get silenced by the boulder drop on the way out. The blink on darks here makes things a lot more difficult. They see the necrobook pop, then it's time to bounce. It's risky because they don't have the Aegis on the spam. Do you stick around and, and wait until the necro cools, or uh, until it expires no, and then go? Or? Too much. I'm, oh, unless they fake back. Fake back is coming, but DC, they don't see any heroes. They could easily scan if they want to, but they already know that. Shazam is not backing off, especially, you, you can also do, like check Sven's inventory, if he doesn't have a TP, you know Radiance that they're likely going to stick around. Mid tower is getting punched, and, and of course, he is very wary. If you're a good support, you want to defend that, but instead it's Soxa who gets assassinated. TC, killer instinct. You know, the old rap on TC used to be that he just farmed too much, he didn't really come to fights enough, but... He's, he's proving the haters wrong with this game. Though. A lot of, I think it's a lot of times when he feels safe. Like, I remember when he played Razor and Viper, he would go in a lot more just because he had a naturally tanky hero as well as a mech. I think this game he also feels very safe because he has armlet and he has two heroes that can save him, Oracle and Wisp, uh, who have not really had to use that many cooldowns on him. He is just super strong. They don't really have a good way to burst through his armor and Leshrac really one of the deciding factors here and just not being able to output that much damage. You know, I actually forgot there was a Leshrac in this yeah, game. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> been farming for like 10 minutes now I forgot he's in the game. Well, here they go, another T3. Getting pressured by TC. Yeah, did commit the God Strength now. Oh, he's going hard. He goes for the wraparound to the bottom lane, but the Hex is ready from Soxa. Shazam just trying to poke towers wherever they can. Uh, Mu is in a very uh, resolution. Weird There's a ward on him. They might be able to go as Vlad drops low. Not gonna be finished off though. There's a boulder kick. Gonna come on to MSS. But remember, he's the Aegis carrier. 
Not an easy kill. Resolution going to commit on him. Can they bring down MSS cleanly the first time? Not before TC gets up in that crow and will bring down Soxa. Now Resolution forced to blink out. Wow, and they didn't have to use uh, didn't Aegis even, for that. Didn't even crack the Aegis. Yeah, still have a minute and a half on the Aegis, but no more God Strength. Maybe one more timing with that, but Shazam doing a very good job of staying in this area and making sure that DC have to make a difficult decision. Do they want to anti-mate without a Manta style to even fight at this point? But if they don't, T3 is going to fall. And it's down. The more glyph available, TC could sidestep there, but now Misery, he runs right in, rolls towards the Magnetize. The stone's going to drop on top of the entire Shazam squad. Everyone taking Magnetize damage. Huge amount coming out, but the relocate is going to be a time here. Io heading back to the base, brain spin out to safety, but that does leave MSS on his own. No more Necro Book available and no detection here, but these heroes are coming back. Are they going to re-engage? Looks like they want to. No, just fled. Oh, they didn't even stun him? Oh, they missed a stun. Okay. Let him go. And the stats uh, also going to get out. That, they just got away with murder. With how that turned out. Relocate, and then with the single TP's end of five heroes. And Boker just die. goes walks away. <laughs> I guess Glimmer Cape is... Only level one Wex, too. But... No detection there. Yeah, no detection. Stun. Even still, they did not manage to break the base fully. Just the tier 3 that, down. That's a lot of damage, though. It's a lot of structural damage. And, the and now they have the Dark Seer Blink. Yeah. As well as the Heart. And just beefed up quite a bit. Heart plus Oracle. Nice. Heart plus Armor is even better. Just never turn that thing off. Need to. 3690 HP with 19 armor without Warcry. And Resolution has a Yasha. He is not he is not killing the spend. I don't know what Lethra gets here. Looks like what is he going? Bots? Ghost Scepter. Ghost Scepter. Okay. Seems, seems interesting. Seems interesting. There's still a decent nuke damage from the invoker though. Yeah. Spend. He gets vacuum in a Stormbolt. They all get obliterated. That's, I think, the biggest concern for him at this moment. And DC not interested in the fighting, drawing lines to pressure the top T3 with the help of Diabolic Edict. It should be kind of quick, but TC with God Strength and Echo Saver and a ton of strength. And oh, there yeah. is no glyph for two minutes, so... Better come home soon if they're about to lose Rex. God Strength plus Heart Synergy is pretty darn nice too. He's what, 260 damage right now? With God Strength he's gonna be 650 damage. Oof. And it, it's like, who do you who do you go on? Because the Dark Deer is gonna sit far back. The Fen's basically unkillable. Okay. If you go on the Io, which they've tried, the Oracle just saves him with False Promise. If you go on the Invoker, there's two supports to save him, so... I think you, you burn very down tough. on mana. You get Anti-Mage to Manta and you roar and Necro Book him, and then you can blow everyone up with a big mana burn. That's what they did last fight, but he had Aegis. I think without Aegis, it'd be an easy way for all these supports to die. Like, Oracle only has 900 HP. Darkseer's not even that tanky, 1200 HP, a big mana void could ruin them. Oh, TC so close to getting the jump on Moo. Moo is in no man's land. There's the war cry now that with the tether moves, he might just be able to find him. No, the fight's gonna break out to the south. Jason got picked off, so DC managed to find the ambush in the rear. TC already popping the god strength. Now they're gonna go again. The meatball rolls forward, they'll clean up Misery. Now turning back for Moo, who's gone on to Vlad. He dies in 2 to 3 auto attack. But a great mana void from Resolution, enough to drop. Two supports, not enough to get any other kills though. It's Shazam holding serve here, but now they can look to kite TC, bring him down, courtesy of the Veil of Discord and the less damage TC is melting. The less is starting to really set in here. Can't quite finish off MSS who jukes and jives away. The boulder kick barely off the mark, close. No cigar, even pulling it back now again. Slightly failing to find the opening with the geomagnetic grip and oh yeah, uh, really, really turns kill. on the pulse Nova. <laughs> This could get ugly for MSS. Ghostwalk's there, he knows too! He's under Can't quite kill him. <laughs> What's MSS <that> doing? <laughs> He's just asking to die. How's he gonna get a kill on him? 17 bloodstone charges now. So he got, uh, got five. Okay, the ghost after worked out really well for him. And I think we, we see Sven now has gotta get a BKB, right? No? Crystalis. <laughs> That's what he's getting. Do you think he, don't you think he needs a BKB? Uh, I think he needs the support to not die. Okay. They, they had a really bad engagement with uh, Moo going around the backside. 
and then Sven chasing him, so your frontliner just disappears, and then your supports are vulnerable, and they just engage on the supports, and they just died. So that was... They almost got Moo, though, so I kind of think TC was in the right there, but his supports were, like, down the cliff. So there's no real easy way out for the Oracle in particular, who is probably the most important hero to not he, die early. Because he, he got surged, then he blinked over this way, and so the supports were, like, over here. Like, eh, we should follow him. Oh, wait, he's so far ahead, let's run back the other way. But by the time they did, it was already too late. Oh, Misery getting caught out there. TC able to jump right in front of him, gets the Storm Bolt off, Sunstrike coming through, and with that, a little karate shot, a little vacuum. See, he'll collect his bounty. The kill on Misery, who didn't manage to drop a, a hill. Oh, actually, that was early. Oh, this could be a big play on top. Mu is setting up with an Invis rune. It's only going to last for 10 more seconds, but if they see like a Sultan. Oh, actually, Sven's not the right choice. In, uh, Invoker, because he has a BOTs. If he see him with a blink, they might be able to get a huge kill here. Oh, they like might happen. MSS getting caught out. The roller coming through. Now the relocate. Can they finish it in time? Monovoid was available. The resolution opti not to use it. Instead of it getting. It's Edict that just almost did right there, but now they can maybe continue with the push on bottom lane, bring two heroes down there, BOT one more, but Jason will be the lone hero that will oh, be alone. But they're going to find Vlad. Vlad now caught out in the river, there's the stun, they have Finger online at the same time, the Sven going in, Yule Scepter up, so Weeha acquiring more and more ways to kite this Sven without the BKB. Yeah, he was doing the right thing though, farming. If he didn't farm, he just kept fighting, I think he would have... It would have been like in the dumpster right now, like Bloodstone plus like maybe a Ghost Scepter. But because he's just been power farming, which is what Letrek is actually really good at, he has tons of items and now he's going to have enough armor to actually get in the fray. And it's not like your Sven's going to buy a Diffusal Blade. That is one of the last items the Sven wants to buy. And he's also getting that, like, already that slot limited point really for Sven where you need boots. Farm looks super cost efficient. You can sell the Echo Saber eventually, but that also gives you great burst damage, so... Yeah, getting something like a Fusel seems out of the question. This top lane move will get jumped and annihilated by MSS magic damage there. In the bottom lane, fuel setting up. Relocate is available. Are they going to look to back him up? They're TPing in the reinforcements. They come from behind. They work on Sakta. TC hammering him down. Looking to not only avenge, but actually save his buddy. The Darkseer will fall. And now Weeha likely to be next, chasing the trees, snared up, and nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. We'll end up dropping two. We'll end up getting up the Bloodstone Suicide there, so doesn't give up the kill, but... Nonetheless, losing the charges and DC. Losing a lot of momentum. Great defensive play coming out from Shazam. Glimmer Cape into the hood. It, f it really feels like the IO has had a big impact this game. Every really time has. DC goes for that gank, Vlad is there with the relocate. Not so much for like the offensive relocates, but just the, the counter ganks. That's a free Roshan, MSS, does have free space in his inventory, but they could really use it on the Sven to breach the high ground. Oh, and a DD. Oh, yeah. Mm. TC, you don't want it? Okay, MSS, be the one. I think they just wanted to hurry with the a communist. as fast as possible. He wants everyone to have a, a little something. I think he already blinked up the hill. If he waits to go all the way back down, DC's already pushing his tower when they're, you know, one or two screens back. So uh -huh. they need to hit the timing ASAP. They get to jump in with the back back. Sunstrike coming through, and it does connect a Weeha with that. It's gonna almost instantly melt. Tornado there, and one more screen of that. He goes for Shazam, striking back in game number two. We might be headed to a deciding game three. They work on the racks. There's no buyback available. Leshrac does have the reduced respawn timer from the Bloodstone, but Resolution slowly try to bring out a melee rack. Instantly TC, onward and upward. Over to the mid lane, Tether, and they look to go for a second lane of racks. The anti mage going to get one, I imagine, then come back, but it may already be too late by the time he does. TC just making short work of these structures, only now the Resolution at long last get that first rack. And while they're waiting for the reinforcements to arrive, Moo gets picked off too. Shazam now holding a one melee rack's advantage, maybe even going to look for the third. So finish up the ranged here. Ranged also down in the bottom lane. DC just farming creeps right up in the backyard of DC. And now onto Weeha. The deep jump, the big dive, then the tornado coming through. Combo interrupted by MSS, re-engaging. No, rolling boulder. And they jump in. Misery directly to the middle of the entire enemy team. He does that to get off the magnetize the roar onto Jason, but simply not enough follow-up damage. Looks like all of Shazam are going to walk away Five through this, DC, pretty much all but out of this one, Ben. Yeah, anti mage with Vanguard beating on your racks. Who's scared <laughs> of that? How happy are you that the Vanguard's losing? Not that happy.
because I like resolution, and he knows better. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, though, I really like how TC like moved in and fought a lot with this team. If they kill Wii one more time here, this could be it. Hex on the TC, keep him out of the fight as long as humanly possible. Resolution can't even get up the damn mana voice completely controlled by MSS. Just showing off those fast fingers as he's managed to hit level 18 now. So DC forced to buy back on the anti mage. They will re-engage, stunning up TC. Monovoy comes through, they get the stun kill, they get the IO as well. They're looking for Jason too, they really need these additional grabs and it looks like they're gonna get three in total. Can they find the invoke or MSS out to safety? Well, if you're gonna buy back, a triple kill, at yeah. least south the wound. Yeah, he's pretty good. He really needs Butterfly to tank up this though. Like, he just got destroyed. It was like... Three hits maybe with Echo Saber. That's maybe one and a half seconds, if even. Oh, Sven's big and bad. He does have buyback and AC. They still have a T2, so that's actually really good for them. Because I don't really know when Shazam's going to get their next opportunity to push. If that T2 were down, it'd be pretty straightforward. Just push out mid and, mid and bottom, and then just go for the top, and they can't really do anything about it. But with that top, like they, there's just so far to go. And anti mage can push out the lane as well as we, and they have the OTs. Oh, they're gonna jump in here with resolution. Abyssal blade getting deployed onto MSS, but so does the Aegis. They want to get their axe before Sven's able to respawn, but that one equalizes things at a two to two. We're not over just yet, guys. DC striking back and trying to close this out with a clean 2 0. Now got their second melee, so that's two range drax advantage for Shazam, but. Anti-Mage buyback and Beastmaster buyback on cooldown for a long time. They might look to go. MSS running in, backing off. The rest of the team around the neighborhood is Vlad's gonna come in way behind enemy lines. Vlad's gonna go home. Pulls the buy mode there, but quickly gets punished as tracks MSS engaging deep. Come on, avoid out. And MSS gonna go down once the blink away right in the nick of time. Z or, uh, uh, not Z talk, but, uh, your Beastmaster able to escape in the end. Mu will survive. Can Soxa get out? Don't think so with the Spence stun. He'll fall. Creeps are starting to hit on the tier 4 towers now. So DC, structural damage done. But they're going to get pushed in here pretty hard. And they're not out of the woods just yet. Mu trying to retreat. But MSS hunting. And while that was happening, looks like elsewhere. Weeha has to bring out Jason on the Oracle. But ooh, Mu. -y. Just barely away, Mui just way back towards base, but gets caught by the cold snap. A little too tanky, uh -oh. actually wants to go, BOT's the other way. That was, we, I thought he uh -huh. gonna go in. That would've been playing with fire. That would've been close, and then Sven he, just comes in He like does a done. buyback, but yeah, he, he would've almost certainly died there. Well, I think that I they, meant to relocate to Sven there. Yeah. And did not. Didn't see, did he BKB? Like, no, no, he hasn't even used it yet. Ten seconds still. Uh, a bit unfortunate. Of course, there's a stand-in effect to keep in mind where Vlad has not played that much with the team. He is from Russia. So, not sure if language barrier is at all an issue, but... Could be. If he, look, Sven like, probably blinked or something because he wanted to get to the fight faster instead yeah. of getting relocated. So I think it's just a communication issue. Shazam looking to close the game out with a smoke. Who are they going to get? Oh, this Soxa. is not the ideal hero. And he even just going to drop a ward. Blinks away. He's, he's Stormbolt just finds it. So they will crit the lion down. <laughs> Jesus, that Sven hits hard. Just 12 lion. No big deal. Up in 40. And T2. Up hop still alive, and that's really important for them. They do have a Rax advantage in that top lane, but if Shazam can't get to that, I don't think they can get to close the game out. Anti Mage is going to be able to provide too much split pressure, and they're worried about getting thrown themselves. I mean, even the Lash Rack. Yeah, the Lash Rack probably more importantly. So Sven doesn't have a TP, so like if Beast Master just rolls IO and TC just stuck in no man's land, they lose a the game. So they have to be very careful about how they proceed. And Roche is going to be a significantly long respawn than normal. 2.39 past the uh, minute mark. So, out 20 seconds off from max. Resolution, meanwhile, to the Abyssal Blade, up to about 3,200 gold. Wow, that's Lefrex's sixth item, an infused raindrop. I see he just wants to live through the Invoker combo. Why not just get a cloak? He has a lot of HP. That's true. Why not just get a BKB? I, he wants buyback, so I can see why not BKB. Cloak, I think, would be probably better. Oh. Hmm. 
We so it blocks how much totals? Six uh, six hundred. Six hundred. Yeah. But uh, it's uh. I, I think it's good. I guess for that sort of investment. It's also like total block, right? Rather than just a percentage base. So blocks it all up front, so you don't even get low in the first place, where like the Sven can just finish you. Yeah. Mm. It's not bad. Also, you're gonna be taking more damage with the Ghost Scepter, so it's like the it's like the insurance policy on the insurance policy. What are you gonna get hit by though? It's Invoker, really. Invoker. Yeah. It's interesting. It's a cheap item. Cool as a sixth item. This is the ultimate. Is the ultimate. Yeah, if you get an Ogre Claw, that's only like 200 HP, but it's both physical and magical, and he's almost certainly going to be taking both. Where the raindrops are kind of bad is when you have like smaller magic damage instances that just will pop it without like fully getting value out of it, but... It also has a cooldown. Yeah, that's true. But Shazam will take that top tier too. You mentioned how pesky it has been. It's gone now. Uh -oh. They get it for free. This bulldozer is rolling straight towards DC land. There is no butterfly up on anti mage He also doesn't have a buyback available, I believe. Uh oh. Minute on cooldown on that, so it's a good time for Shazam to force the issue, committing the God Strength and going in on this tower. Soxa leading the charge with the hex, stalling, waiting patiently. They have to bait out the CKB or kite his God Strength. His God Strength is actually almost down, so they've done one of the two. And TC doesn't look like he's interested in fighting without the aid of that god strength. I mean, it still feels like overall win for Shazam, though, because now there's no tier 2s up for DC. Meanwhile, uh, for Shazam, still a tier 2 bottom. Yeah, that was... I don't exactly know why that lane wasn't pushed out. Probably because they were scared of them smoking. I saw Shazam use their scan in the top lane and probably huddle around the Roach Pit, worried about Shazam taking it. Still one minute and a half, but unbeknownst to both teams. Raindrop's gone, by the way. Just thought you'd thought you'd like to know. Eh, it's important. <laughs> Got the Shivas. Thirteen bloodstone charges. Mm, what twenty-eight second respawn? That is not quite short enough for them. He still could use an Aegis. And unfortunately for DC, Roshan has not respawned. Zam, new God Strength ready to go. I'm just marching down the top lane. They're gonna get there, and DC, there they, is no glyph. They need to buy back on the stage. There is a tier two. Is he gonna get enough gold? Well, does he want that, or does he want the butterfly? Uh, you, want, you have to get buyback. You're not gonna be able to buy it in time. You have to like have a spot oh, for your talisman. They're already here. Shazam, ready to go, and with TC in front, you really have a tough time going on, on him. As well. that's always available in the back line, so too is gonna be the Oracle. And they look to go. They're just stalling here, trying to kite. Delay, but TC says screw it, man. I've got a 10 second BGB. I'm not gonna use it to bring down all your eggs, but on the back side of the fight, coming through the beast mess. Try to stall this one misery. Gets up a great magnetize once again. And DC slowly working their way on to Vlad. They're gonna finish him off. Jason almost dead too. Both supports about to drop. Definitely start up the false trauma. Survives for now. TC full HP. Anti mage getting kind of forced back almost instantly there. And TC. Two cores down, might just gotta have his way, but now I gotta worry about the bashes a bit here. Needs a little help, the kick, the kite, but every swing of that sword just does so much damage. And now moving on to Sasha as the tornado EMP combo connects. And he goes flat. Resolution just put it the bleak offensively here. But Shazam, they don't care about him. They just want to get the racks. It looks like range down. Only one to go, and then it'll be Megas, and then it's likely on the game three. Monovoid. Ah, a bit underwhelming there from Resolution. Couldn't quite find the dream. PC kicked back towards the well, but not nearly far enough. He is just so damn tanky. This man lips. He certainly does truly a top Canadian doing work against DC, but has the overextended now. Shiva's guard, a lot of magic damage. TC starting to drop. They have managed to get the Megas though, so it's going to be very hard from here. And uphill climb, and that demon if Sven dies. DG is the call. Resolution will blink out. It's all over. They have managed to do it in the end. Shazam will finally try to get this monkey off their back. Respect the wisp. <laughs> I imagine that Vlad Tayo is going to get the axe in game number two. Yeah, that was pretty well played. Shout out to Grand Grant. 1 and 7, but a big difference maker. I think TC's place though overall though was the big the big win for them. Like he was just joking, he was just too busy farming Battle Fury the whole game. But this game he got armlet, he got treads, got involved, 